I think the, the, the strongest CEOs, you know, are, are larger than their organizations and their organizations, you know, are larger than themselves sometimes in, in what they give back, you know, to the communities that they're involved in. Well, Bartley Dean's been around for over half a century and our vision statement is to really work with clients in creating really unique workplace solutions and workplace environments that help our clients achieve their business results. Seattle and the surrounding area, it's a city, but it's like a small big town and there's a sense of community that I think exists here in the Northwest that's unlike almost any other place in the country. And for any CEO to, you know, surround him or herself with, you know, just wonderful, competent people that not only have particular skills, you know, for any given function, but again, where you have a linkage in your value system. So, you know, but then you can ratchet it down and say, you know, if you want to be world-class organizations, and if you really want to grow and expand your business, you have to attract and retain the best knowledge workers, you know, literally that there are in the world. Uh, we have people that have been with us for, you know, decades, if you will, but it really is a sense of family. So it's this culture of openness, of sharing, of collaboration, of teamwork that really make a difference and people seem to just thrive in it. For me, the other side is really a philosophy of, you know, giving back and being involved uh, in the community. And I've been here for 20 some odd years now. And uh, for me personally and our, our leadership team and uh, even my wife, we serve on a number of different boards, but we're very active with a philosophy of being part of the fabric of the community and giving back, both from a corporate perspective, you know, and a personal perspective. I get excited about that. You know, one of the uh, non-for-profits that I've been involved with for many years is Junior Achievement and is teaching, you know, young people K through 12, you know, about business. We were very, very blessed to open up a 35,000 square foot learning laboratory down in Auburn where fifth graders and seventh graders can come in and spend a whole day running a business with a simulated business model. And at the end of the day, they find out, did they survive? Did they make a profit? You know, did they lose money? And when you see the faces light up, on these young people from that experience. I mean, you know, over-exaggerated, but not so much. It brings a tear to your eye. Very, very special. I mean, we are all part, you know, of a, of a greater scheme here. And I think the more that your overall environment is healthy and your society is healthy and your culture is sound and you're really, you know, caring and sharing with people, you know, that rising tide lifts all boats, you know, somewhat of a phenomenon. Then we're already planning for the next wave you know, that shows, you know, with new ideas, new innovations, you know, uh, new creative spaces, new businesses coming into our area. You know, want to keep your, you know, your business entity, you know, rock solid. You want to you know, be able to make sure you stay true to your products and your services, you know, and your values. You know, but then it's to continue to try, you know, and grow your business and grow your business both because of your individual business model. But again, for us, it cycle back that if we can, you know, continue to grow our business, it gives us that much more of an opportunity, you know, to participate, you know, on a large stage you know and that again is this you know community involvement with society that we feel really strongly about here at Barkley Dean. There's a this tremendous variety here you know around this can-do attitude so even though times are challenging right now and they are challenging I think every one of us should be optimistic that there will be an exciting future and hopefully it'll come here sooner rather than later.